Dad, Dad, I wanted to give you a heads up. Mom's birthday is tomorrow. It's time to start your annual mad dash around town to get her a present that's not completely insulting. It's a state-of-the-art food mash -em upper Your mom's gonna feel so good, it'll make mere love seem like chewing tin foil. Because today, I'm getting it autographed. Man, oh man, look at this place. Finally, a supermarket with a clear premise. Well, I don't believe the Simpsons will be shopping at the Quickie Mart anymore. Oh, really? Papu, what are you doing out of your natural habitat? I am finding out who my real customers are and who is going to cheat on my store with some South Sea Sugar Shack. Now, see here. I have always considered you cash-given cows to be my friends. And friends do not betray friends. Friends are the only people you can betray. Oh, defend yourself, sir. Convenience forever! Freshness never! No, I... Nah. How would you like it if I called your wife live from my show tomorrow to wish her a happy birthday? An apron with a sonnet! Open mine, quick, before it suffocates! A bunny, just like the one I had when I was a girl. Now, last but not least, your present, homie. Oh, <laughs> wait one second, Marge. Before you open it, you're gonna get a phone call that will make this your most awesome birthday ever. Now in three, two, one. I repeat, one. One. Please don't say one again. Homie, whatever it is, it's not happening. <laughs> that tears it! I'm gonna call that Paula Paul and give her a piece of my mind. Huh? The phone's dead. Normal, 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 normal. No Uncharacteristic! You let this monster into our home where he chewed through our one and only phone cord! Wait! Maybe Paula Paul left a message. We'll go to commercial and call you right back. Hi, Paula Paul, calling back from Marge Simpson. Screw you, Marge Simpson. Don't read my books and don't make my recipes. May my curse follow you beyond the grave. Why, you little, I'm gonna shoot. <sighs> now, Homer, you can't strangle a boy on his mother's birthday. Juries hate that. Get in that rabbit cage. Don, do you have a minute? I've been thinking. I really shouldn't have put you in there and left you there while we were having pizza without you. So, I'm gonna let you out with my apologies. Boy, get out of that cage! But it's my home now, sir. Oh, poke a broom in there! You know I'm capable of it! You, uh, you just hey. get out of here, you little brat! Uh, 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 stupid kid. There. Finished. Awesome revenge. Cutting your dad's face out of a piece of cardboard. No, you dweeb. It's a stencil. I'm gonna take Homer's ugly face and spread it all over town. Hey, you pugs! What are you doing? <laughs> if you wake up my pigeons, they're gonna do their business again. And these days, there's no newspapers, so I have to put down Amazon Kindles. I'm like, it's, it's bankrupting me. Wait a minute. That guy in the poster looks familiar. Don't just stare back at me. Come up with a theory. Jeez, it's all over the place. Tag, we're it. Springfield has been hit hard by a mysterious graffiti artist and his iconic calling card, which we have dubbed Mr. Fatso. Heard about this thing, boy? No, no, I'm too concerned with unemployment. So, how do you like working at Swapper Jack's? Here I'm not jailbird, I'm just bird. This is a stick them up! For once, the Indian has been outsourced! Shh, 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 shh. Just give me the peace. No. You've got a family, dude. No. Or were you lying when you begged for your life? Oh, oh sweet Vishnu, the destroyer, what have I done? Where's this 2006 Beaujolais that's putting me out of business? Whoa, 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 there's a white wine? Yeah, mysterious pranksters, it's time for dinner. Damn it, she knows. 
Okay, how do we buy your silence? Just throw in a couple of fur is murders. How is fur murder? They're just animals. Dad! Fine. Bart, you've really grown as an artist. Thanks, Millhouse. We make a great team. Hold it right there. The drug in the glasses did everything. Whoa! Ah! Need <laughs> inhaler. <gasps> You're the two punks who've been tagging the town. Congratulations. Huh? We're street artists. Take that, Ronald Reagan. Even in death, you're not safe for me. No! I've been satirized! Who are you guys? Kenny Shar, Robbie Canal. I'm Shepard Ferry. <laughs> what was that name again? Shepard Ferry. <laughs> Urban vandalism is now the hottest art form there is. Hey, I got an F in art. Mainly so it would say fart on my report card. Bart, we would love to set up a gallery show for your street art. Bart, say yes! At the opening, I could wear a sports jacket with a t-shirt and jeans. Count me in. Apu, it is a miracle! What now? Swapper Jack is reuniting Led Zeppelin in aisle six? Swapper Jack's is closing! Is that what they sell as chicken is actually monkey? So, we have one. Finally, I am lucky at something. You were lucky at love. Yeah, sure, baby. Hey, Bart, check this out. Hmm. Oh, we've hit the big time. Hi, Karumba. Not so loud. If my dad hears about the show, he might realize Mr. Fatso is him. What the? You idiot, Mr. Fatso is you. Excellent installation, dude. And a great excuse for me to bust out my courtroom jacket. Thanks, guys. I, um, oh, this collar's feeling pretty tight. Why, you little... <laughs> Pay for your genius! <laughs> you... <laughs> oh, what's the use? When a man isn't a hero to his son, he's nothing. Looks like Dad's not coming. He won't leave the car. I can see how the show might not be to his liking. Come on, Dad. You made me mad, so I got back at you. You just ruined my car. Correction, it's worth ten times as much. Five hundred dollars? Woohoo! Thanks, boy. You're welcome, Dad. It's getting cold out here. Art lovers and Bart lovers! First of all, I'd like to thank the good folks at Springfield Arts Daily for setting this up. Thank you for bringing us a fresh new voice. Hold it right there, Spray Candy Warhol. <laughs> Bart Simpson, you're under arrest for tagging the town. Well, if I can just get my three million dollars back, no refunds. Wait, Chief, I must know. Who tipped you off? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but uh, it was our undercover officer, Shepard Ferry. You're an undercover cop? Wait, wait, wait! He's just a boy. Do you have to put him in jail? Well, we've got to teach him a lesson somehow. Hmm. There you go. Thanks for coming out. I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, knock yourself out. Look, Dad, they've got every kind of paper. Loose leaf, graph, unlined. <gasps> College ruled. Can't you just write on your arm like I do? Cresty, speak and say. Lisa! Stay cool, Millie. You have a pen glued to your cowlick. If you don't like it, it's gone! Uh, oh! Uh, you want this? No. Mm. Hey, this hot dog tastes different. Mm, yeah, but without the grease, all you can taste is the hog anus. I'm so sorry, but I sold it all to the rendering plant. People buy grease? Okay, this bacon's done. And now for the profit taking. <laughs> that side of bacon was for my bridge game tonight. Marge, if you don't mind, I'm a little busy right now achieving financial independence. With cans of grease? No, 
through savings and wise investments. Of course, with grief. Then the doctor told me that both my eyes were lazy, and that's why it was the best summer ever. Attention, please. I need a volunteer for a thankless chore. Shall I assume the only hand in the air is Lisa Simpson's? Thank you, Lisa. We have a new student, Lisa. And... Don't worry, I'll help her out. I remember how hard it was to be an outsider, always trying to fit in, never quite feeling like... Lisa, I'd like you to meet Alex Whitney. Your name's Lisa? Shut up! I love that name! Is that perfume? Oh, don't be such a Phoebe. It's Pretension by Calvin Klein. Want to try some? <laughs> okay, so what's the haps in Springfield? What do you guys, like, do for fun? Oh, jacks. Jacks are big. They went out for a while, but then they came roaring back. <laughs> uh-huh, you mean that game with the little rubber ball? Oh, don't worry, you'll pick it up fast. Once you get to Forzies, you're in the zone. Four pounds of grease. That comes to... 63 cents. Woohoo! Dad, all that bacon cost $27. Yeah, but your mom paid for that. Look at that load of grease. Boy, if we're ever going to earn paper money, we have to expand our operation. Um, I don't know how much more school I can miss. Oh, oh, see, we we Alex, over here! Okay, if the new girl sits with us? Oh, okay. okay, I guess. She's a little weird, but let's give her a chance. Guys, this is Alex. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Hello? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> oh, yeah, like I'd be seen with a Discover card. You have a cell phone and a purse? Careful now. Nobody likes a show off. Where are they going? Hey, wait up! They left without me. So there I am, being nice to Alex, and she takes all my friends and ditches me. They only like her because she acts too grown up with her perfume and her cell phone and... Oh, and get this, Mom. She drinks iced tea. Oh, there you are. Listen, I'm sorry I ran out on you yesterday, but the girls couldn't wait to show me that tree. Huh, don't give it a second thought. Huh, I didn't. Anyway, I got you a little present. Uh, but... I don't think I'm ready for pierced ears. Oh, Lisa, I was hoping I could count on you again to spearhead our annual school-wide apple pick. Absolutely. Apple pick? Didn't your old school have apple picks? No, we weren't big on fruit. We were more into, like, dances. You know, things that are fun. A dance? Great idea, Alex. Yeah, Principal Skinner, can we have a dance instead? School dance? I didn't approve any school dance. Yes, you did yesterday, right by my locker. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, but carry on. When you want grease, go to the source. Good old Krusty Burger. Oh, I'll say. Look at that red-headed kid. There must be $20 worth of grease on his forehead alone. I was thinking more of the deep fryer. All right, we'll try it your way. Mom's gonna kill you. If she didn't want her car ruined, she should have done a better job hiding her keys. Hey, what the... Okay, girls, we're gonna need balloons, crepe paper, party hats... Whoa! You've got a dingo junction here? I am not wearing this. Oh, come on, Lisa. It's totally you. Just, you know, add some accessories, lip gloss, maybe drop five pounds. Aren't we a little young for makeup and... What do you mean, five pounds? Calm down, Lisa. DMY. What's DMY? Don't mess yourself. Ew. Yeah, that's why we changed it to DMY. Don't worry, Lisa. There's still plenty of time. You'll get a date. I don't want a date! Oh, I can't believe those goons muscled me out of my grease business. I've been muscled out of everything I've ever done, including my muscle for hire business. My poor homie. Hey, Dad, I've been thinking. What if instead of giving up on Greece, we go for one last big score? Wait a minute. The boy's right. I can't quit now. Aw, oh, you always know just what to say to cheer me up. The thing about huckleberries is, once you've had fresh, you'll never go back to canned. No, um, uh, so anyway, I kicked the guy's ass. 
<laughs> your earlobe's bleeding. Oh. So, I guess major muffins like yourselves all have dates, huh? You better believe it. Really? All of you? Ah, uh, we all have dates, Lisa. Another wedgie. Uh -huh. Hang on, I'll get my forceps. Oh, hurry. <sighs> Millhouse, oh, I've been looking all over for you, but I can't. I already asked somebody. So, unask her. What am I doing? This isn't me. I'm sorry, Millhouse. I should have attacked out somehow. Lucky paramecians. You don't have to worry about finding dates or dancing. Oh, so you don't have a date. You can still go and have a wonderful time. You don't understand. I don't belong there. The other girls are already into fashion and makeup and dating. Forget it, Mom. I'm not going. But they're counting on you to take tickets. And if you sit there with a brave little smile and a festive bow, why, you could be the belle of the ball. This better work, boy. I don't want to wind up working on your mother's emu farm. Don't worry. This is the school we've been dreaming about. Okay, turn on the suction. We're working. <laughs> What is it? Wow, Lisa. I really admire your guts. You came here all by yourself at the risk of being labeled a dateless wonder. Ugh. Ow! It slipped. Where's the hose? Bring it up the rear. Are you as excited as I am? Oh, yeah. Well, here goes. I mean, ach! I mean, what are you doing here? Hey, what the? <gasps> My retirement grease! No! You thieving grease pundits! I'll kill ya! Wait up! Stop pummeling me! It's really painful! Lisa, I have to run home. I need you to keep an eye on the dance. Go in there with all the happy dancing couples? Normally I wouldn't ask, but uh, it's an emergency. <sighs> huh? This dance has gone titanic. What happened? Well, the boys and girls are like afraid of each other. They're acting like a bunch of kids. I know. What is up with that? It's because they are kids, and so are we. Hmm. Listen, you can giggle and stink all you want, but I have a credit card, so <laughs> on you. Mm -hmm. oh, God, guys, guys, the hose! Oh. Oh. Huh? Look, it's snowing! It's like a hamburger milkshake. <laughs> Here comes a grease ball. <laughs> oh, that's my grease. It's mine. Give it here. They're playing in grease? Yarg. Oh, act your age. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>